Renowned billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk has announced his intention to personally visit Eagle Pass, Texas, to gain a first-hand understanding of the ongoing crisis at the American-Mexico border. His decision to visit comes after a conversation with state congressman Tony Gonzalez, who characterized the humanitarian situation at the border as a pressing concern. Taking to Twitter, Musk expressed his concern about the border crisis, emphasizing the unprecedented surge in migrant arrivals. He cited drone footage depicting scores of migrants crammed into trains heading from Mexico to Eagle Pass, underscoring the severity of the situation. Recent reports indicate that approximately 11,000 migrants crossed into America from Mexico in a single day, marking a record high in recent memory. Notably, about 4,000 of these individuals crossed at Eagle Pass. Is to hold the Biden administration accountable to the laws that exist on the books in the United States of America. In one week, one week, this town of 28,000 people had more than 10,000 people come into their town. It's unsustainable. They don't have the ability to take care of the people who are coming across the border. They don't have any, you know, hotels or any other type of location where they can house people. And that's exactly why we had to engage in the busing operation to provide a sense of relief uh, to these towns that were completely overwhelmed uh, by the number of migrants who were coming in and being dropped off by Border Patrol in their communities. Walk us through a typical day at the border. Um, so you have different categories of persons, I gather. You have some who are, for example, going through the uh, CBP-1 process, who are looking to uh, apply for asylum. There are others who are just brazenly crossing the border without regard for that process. Talk to us about what that looks like and, and, and these different categories of individuals. So let's do a little compare and contrast. Uh, what does a typical day look like in New York City uh, with regard to the mig migration process? And it is completely different than what we are dealing with every single day on the border. We have, in, in any one particular location, thousands of people crossing the border in, in a mad rush type of way. You have people who are dropped off on buses at city centers and may be connected to uh, non-governmental organizations, things like that. We have people who uh, are, are being pushed across the border by the cartels, by the thousands, into small little communities, com completely disrupted. One thing that happens is once they get uh, across the border, we have one thing that does not take place in New York. They're called bailouts. The people who get across the border, there are smugglers on the Texas side of the border uh, who pick them up, put them in cars, and then are, are driving uh, at a racing speed to get to the next location in, in the delivery process. And we have Texas Department of Public Safety officers that are pursuing them and uh, at, at a dangerous speed, you know, 80, 90, 100 miles per hour car chases. Uh, and the smugglers know if we capture the smugglers, they're going to be arrested and put behind bars for 10 years or longer. And so they bail out and they, the smugglers take off running and leave behind a car full of migrants who they're smuggling. You don't have bailouts here in New York that I know of, uh, and you see them in uh, many, hardly in any other place. So we have uh, the, the bailouts, uh, we have crime taking place in ways that you don't see in New York. We, we have cartels that have been caught on video uh, as they're coming across the border. Uh, they have uh, assault rifles, uh, AK-47s, uh, extraordinary weapons that they're using, and, and they have high-powered capabilities of killing people, protecting themselves, uh, and say, uh, quasi war zone down there. And speaking of the war zone again, we as a state are, are trying to instill the rule of law as much as we possibly can only to be at war, not so much with those who are coming in, but at war with our own federal government that is interfering with Texas's attempt to enforce the rule of law in our state. 
but the the volumes are so high and i think you you may have touched upon this a little bit 